No better way to start off your morning with a nice cold can of Blood Orange Del Sol by Knocko. Where the fuck's my Knocko gone? I swear my Knocko was there. The first time I was about to try the brand new Blood Orange Del Sol, someone's fucking nicked it. Piglet! Piglet, not again. Piglet, stop drinking my knocko. Peach iced tea, clear way. Spot every time. What's up guys, welcome back to a brand new video. Now we're doing another Q&A video, as the first one did really well. Had a good response, a uh, load of you um, seem to, well, give me a load of positive feedback on, found it was funny, uh, informative, etc. So, I did another question box on my Instagram. So if you don't follow me already and you missed the opportunity to get involved, head over to at Tom Seed Fitness. So I'm gonna jump straight into the q and I'm gonna uh, fly through these. They're a bit of a random order, but these are questions picked out from the question box. Uh, start off with the first one, which is have you ever taken steroids? Um, it's a very straightforward question and you should be able to tell from my physique that I have never taken steroids. I've got no desire to become a bodybuilder or compete at a professional level as a sports athlete. The decision to risk not having children uh, and to be reliable on steroids for my life would be ludicrous when all I do is do a bit of CrossFit. I think if you're going to make bodybuilding your career or if you're going to um, rely on steroids to take you to a level that will affect your life or your career, then probably consider it. I've trained for literally 10 years of my life. If I've been taking steroids for the last 10 years of my life and I looked the way I do now, then you just need some help. Get some help. Stop it. Get some help. Uh, what's my future plans with CrossFit? So I actually have a CrossFit competition in two weeks from now. When this video goes live, it's probably going to be about a week's time or possibly a few days. Who, who knows? The competition is a pairs comp. It's same sex. And yeah, as he's a bit of a joker, we've called our team name just a couple of jerks. I've now moved to the John Charles Centre in Leeds. It's still a big sports facility. Um, and yeah, it's going to be an absolute wicked day. It's on the 19th of June. It's a Saturday and I'm going to be going out after and getting wrecked. I'm only entering into the scaled comp because it's my first ever one and a few of the movements like bar muscle ups and things I can't do. So I thought I'd enter in just at the scaled level and to get some experience behind my belt. Um, but my future plans for CrossFit, I have no desire to become a uh, CrossFit Games athlete, but I just enjoy it. So I think a competition is good experience. Question three. What was the most stressful part of moving house? We moved out on the Friday, uh, we actually got the keys and kind of moved in officially on the Saturday. Now, being handed the keys on a Friday, got a bit excited, had a few mates around, extremely hungover on the Saturday, and that day was one of the worst hangovers. Um, people say moving house is the most stressful time of your life. Try and doing it with a 10 out of 10 level hangover. Um, the worst part, of the whole day was trying to move the L-shaped sofa out of a single doorway, which when you're hungover, is just never happening. Uh, pretty horrific day. Question number four, what other sports do you like apart from rugby? So you, you typical sports like golf, cricket, hockey, uh, football, I never really got into. If you're counting CrossFit as a sport, I know there's a big kind of uh, gray area of whether it actually counts as a sport. In my eyes, it does. I think the CrossFit Games is definitely something that I would class as a sport. So my top sports would be CrossFit, rugby, uh, UFC, boxing, MMA, and then uh, Formula One, um, just throwing in, in there as well. So a bit of a mix, um, but yeah, I like to follow more, watch them online, um, and particularly get involved with the CrossFit side of things. If you could train one muscle group for the rest of your life from now, what would it be and why? Okay, so if you asked me this question probably two years ago, maybe a year ago, I'd probably said like chest or potentially arms or basically anything that gives me a good t-shirt body for aesthetics. Having stepped into CrossFit and realized that actually it's not really about the aesthetics. Um, I think anything that's gonna improve my CrossFit ability would be training legs. I think that's a big fundamental of uh, kind of taking part in, in CrossFit is having good leg strength when it comes to all your big movements, all your big lifts. Question number six. What's your favorite company you've ever worked for? 
So in terms of companies that I've kind of worked for or promoted or got involved with their, their products, um, I've never had any bad relationship with any of them. Um, but because I've just literally landed a brand new sponsor with PhD, I'm gonna have to take this opportunity to say that PhD have been absolutely great and I absolutely love their products. Um, some of the, yeah, some of the products are literally just unreal. If you're interested in getting any discounts, I'll put the link below uh, as well as a discount code for you to use. But yeah, I, I genuinely mean it that the, the products are second to none. So I'm going to have to say, paper company is PhD Nutrition. I think there's a question, yeah, further down, someone actually said, I've just started lifting, which protein powder do you suggest? And um, so I'm going to tie that question in with this one. If I was to get a protein powder and you've just started lifting, um, either the Smart Whey Protein by PhD or the Smart Vegan Protein. For me, I kind of like the, the non-dairy proteins. Um, so it would be this bad boy. Really rate the product. You've got like an 84% protein content overall uh, for nutritional value, which is very good. Mix is great, so I can't fault it. And if you're gonna mix it up and if you're gonna go for something that's a bit lighter, especially like in the summer months when you're training or running or having protein on the go, I'd probably go for a clear way. Um, so PhD do a good selection of clear ways, uh, vegan, diet, or normal. Uh, but all the flavors are spot on, uh, but obviously peach iced tea has gotta be the one. Next question, if I'm stuck on a desert island with one person, who would it be and why? Now I'm assuming there are other people still on the planet. I'm just stranded on a desert island and there's someone else on the island with me. Um, so for that reason, I would have to say someone like Elon Musk because he's got to be the most famous person with the biggest contacts who would have the most amount of money to do whatever they could to find him. And I feel like he'd be my best shot at the world would be looking for him to make these big decisions and help Bitcoin get back to where it fucking was before we lost it all. So yeah, Elon Musk, um, I'm pretty sure they'd find me and I'd probably you know, look after him and come out with it with, I don't know, a few hundred K in my account when we get rescued. What was your shape as a teenager? Were you skinny to beast? Well, obviously, if you've seen my transformations on YouTube, which you should have done, come on. Come on, man. Basically, your starting point doesn't really matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. If you commit to being consistent, uh, eating enough calories to put on size, uh, train like an absolute motherfucking beast, then you'll be absolutely fine. I was pretty skinny when I started my transformation and it was just a slow, gradual process over about four years that I really started to put on size. To be honest, when, I think I started when I was about 18, I got to about 23, 24, I probably looked better then than I do now. So yeah, there's a transformation that I'll actually leave in the description below, uh, which I made years ago. It's pretty shit quality, but you'll be able to see kind of, yeah, the, the, the progress I made and uh, where, I, where my starting point was. Nearly at the end, I've only got a few questions left. However, my camera's about to die, so I'm gonna put a new battery in and rejoin you for the next few questions before it dies. BRB. <laughs> oh, I'm bloody gorgeous. I am not beautiful at all. I am bloody gorgeous, okay? Okay, so last few questions. Just to wrap up this Q&A. Okay, so when will you get back in the boxing ring? Now, I've tried to push this one. I made a video about 10 videos back. Kind of did like a reaction video of my last white collar boxing match against Blake Marshall. Obviously now lockdown's not a thing. Hopefully we can get back in and do it at some point. I would like to do another one. Um, if he does, then I'll have to go and drag his housemate Jimmy out of bed and see what he's saying. But yeah, no, boxing ring. Uh, def definitely want to get back in the boxing ring. Potentially you might even just get back into doing some training. Uh, it's fun, I enjoy it. I would like to get in and do it. Right. Any plans for this summer? Um, to be honest, COVID's kind of put everything on hold. There's definitely be another America trip at some point with my mates. So I'm hoping that's around September. And then in terms of like Ibiza and fitness, I would like to get out and do something uh, potentially August time. I don't know, but everything's up in the air at the moment and uh, nothing's actually officially planned, which kind of sucks. But if it continues to be as sunny as it is right now in England, I'll be more than happy staying here. My fitness regime, uh, how does it affect your sex drive? Uh, to be honest, right now it doesn't and it probably never will. I think the only time it ever did was when I competed in uh, like fitness modeling and do my like men's physique show. When I was running on like uh, 1500 calories, then yeah, it didn't really exist at that point. So that wasn't a great time in my life. <laughs> but no, right now my sex drive is fine and I don't plan to ever going that low on calories ever again. Um, just training for performance now, not aesthetics, so. And finally, new gym tour. 
Yep, as most of you have seen on my stories, yeah, I've got uh, lots of new equipment in my new house. I'm going to do a separate video purely on uh, the start to finish full gym transformation, all the equipment I've got. That'll be a separate video. Unfortunately, I'm going to end the Q&A um, on that cliffhanger and you'll have to tune in for the next video or potentially the one after uh, when I go through the full gym tour, gym transformation. If you've got any more questions, then drop them below or wait for the next Instagram Q&A box to pop up on my Insta. Head over there, give me a follow if you don't already. If you want to DM me on a, on a personal level, private, private message, um, send it via Instagram. It's probably the best way. And I'll get back to you. We'll try and get back to every single person that messages me. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.